Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adele, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find that ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word. Turn with me over to the book of Isaiah. Today we'll be in Isaiah chapter 40. And I want us to look at verse 29 as a text verse of Scripture. Notice what the Bible says here. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. And friend, I pray that God would certainly add his wonderful blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together. Have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. My goodness. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. A good fresh cup of hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Well, today, friend, I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled, From the End to the Beginning. My friend, do you ever feel weak and limited? All your strength seems to be gone. You're weary, you're tired, and you just don't lack the power to do anything. Well, friend, that could actually be a good thing. You see, the unlimited God of creation has chosen to indwell you if you're saved by his marvelous grace. And when you reach the end of who you are, you begin to see who he is and what God can accomplish through you. My friend, our God is omnipotent. He has all power. When you run out of your natural strength, it's then that you start to see all that our God is capable of. God is not only omnipotent, he's omniscient. He is an all-wise God. When your imaginations, your mental ability, and your understandings run dry, our God's knowledge, his wisdom, and his creativity begins to flow forth. Our God is not only omnipotent and omniscient, our God is omnipresent. Everything is in his presence at every moment. While you may run out of time and out of reach, he is always where you cannot be. Our God is also unconditionally loving. While you may grow weary of others, God never fails to extend his mercy and his loving kindness to all. Yes, to all who will open their hearts to receive him. My friend, the Lord your God can energize your body. He can enlighten your mind. He can be where you are not. And he can make flow his love through you. So if you're feeling limited today, Rejoice in the Lord, 
and invite him to be everything that you're not. Think about that, my friend, and let's pray together. Father, we rejoice that you are all things. The scripture says the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega. And you know the end and the beginning. Thank you, dear Lord, for reminding us that when our strength fails us, that we can rely upon your strength and that it will carry us. And God, give us the capability to do just that, rely upon your strength, your knowledge, your loving kindness. And we'll give you praise for it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, my friend, I pray the devotion has been a blessing to you today. And if it has, you be a blessing to someone else by sharing it with them. And remember, your life could be the Bible that some may read today. So let others see and hear Jesus in everything that you say and in everything that you do. Again, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.